Welcome to Week 8. Southern Columbia trying to get revenge for last year's regular season loss to Mount Carmel, but do the Tigers have enough toughness up front to pull that off? Plus, Jersey Shore trying to hang on to that number two ranking in the Super 16 countdown. The Bulldogs on the road at Montoursville. Number four, Palmerton, led by dual-threat quarterback Matt Mahalik, put on a display in the first half. How about 49 points between the Blue Bombers and North Schuylkill? Running and gunning next on the Super 16 Sports Final. The Super 16 Sports Final. It's always good to see you. Welcome to another edition of the Super 16 Sports Final. I'm Ron Snyder. Insert the scary and wacky into week eight, but it's better not to lose. It's better to lose now than lose in the district playoffs. Palmerton, one of those undefeated teams with so much on the line. They figured out how to run the ball this season with Ty Sander and they're undefeated at 7-0. Always good because you have Matt Mahalik doing his thing at quarterback. He's the leading all-time rusher and passer as a Blue Bomber. So let's head to those highlights and see what happens as Palmerton taking on North Schuylkill. Right here, Mahalik doing his thing, taking it in for the touchdown right here, Mahalik. Off to a great start for Palmerton, and then why not give it to him again, weaving and cut his way through the defense on the near side of the field. Oh, didn't like that for the score. Palmerton in the end zone once again, but North Schuylkill not going down without a fight. Up top, take it to him. In the open, in the clear, there's a score for North Schuylkill cutting into the lead. Palmerton's defense trying to find an answer, but the best defense is offense. Look at the trickeration. Palmerton coming through with another touchdown for an answer against North Schuylkill, but North Schuylkill responding. The wide receiver screen in the open field, in the open, in the clear. The Spartans still rolling for another touchdown, but Matt Mahalik, this man refuses to lose. In the open, in the clear, and he's rolling all the way to the end zone. Palmerton looking good in this one, and Palmerton wins 48 to 24. First couple of drives you were doing the Oka Doke. What is that like when you get in the open space and you give them that leg and you're gone? Yeah, uh, it's just <laughs> it's just my uh, game, and I love uh, love doing it all the time. And uh, you know, it's just fun being able to make plays for my guys. And uh, we just we got a bunch of athletes, and it's not just me. There's blocks going on downfield that uh, support my run, and you know, it's all credit to the teammates. And it's a great win tonight against a very good team. Terrific. You like the peanut butter? He's like the jelly. Ty comes in. The last touchdown, fourth and six. It's a broken play. Is that something you did as kids because it didn't seem like anything was going to work and yet he spotted you for a touchdown? Yeah, well, yeah, chemistry. When, I, when we were younger, we all would just do stuff, run around. You all just throw it up and I'll just be there. And we just, it wasn't written up. I just, I trusted him. He trusted me. And we just got it done. All right. Tamaqua at home next week for Palmerton. Senior night. They're ready. Jim Coles, Newswatch 16 Sports, Palmerton. All right, Dunmore taking on Western Wayne. Trying to see what they can do to continue to a good season. Dunmore getting the ball first, and Jake Hickey gets the handoff. Burst through the line. Oh, I didn't like that with the stiff arm. That's a first down, 27 yards down the field. A few plays later, Thomas Bowen plowing forward for the touchdown, 6 to nothing. Dunmore, that's how the Bucks do it. Western Wang with an answer in the next drive. Josh Vinton with a tough run here, twisting and turning, shedding tacklers. Tying the game up at six in the first quarter. After a fumble by Dunmore, Western Wayne taking their shot. Frankie LaShawn, the deep ball to Sean Owens, and he does the rest of the work, breaks some tackles, and he's in for the 50-yard score. Yeah, point. He's got a touchdown, 12-6 Wildcats. Dunmore with an answer. Thomas Bowen gets a touchdown here, 13-10 Dunmore. Dunmore wins this one, 20-12. Homecoming night at Mahanoy area hosting Tri-Valley Golden Bears trying to stop a four game losing streak. No score in the first quarter. Cologne McGordy oh, finds a seam and he is going for a 54 yard touchdown. Just like that, Mahanoy area takes the lead. Tri-Valley didn't blink though. They mounted their own drive. Here is a nice run from Cole Gerberling and the Bulldogs running back off on the right side looking good. Later in the drive, why not give it to the fullback, Cash Tobin. Man, this guy can run. That's weight room right there and effort. Six feet, 200 pounds coming at you. Moments later, Cash Tobin gets the call again, plows forward for the two-yard touchdown. Tri-Valley scores to cut the lead to 7-6. But Ethan Manley with a game-winning touchdown catch in the fourth quarter. The final in this one, Mahanoy area wins 27-20. 
It's the last leg of the Revenge Tour. Southern Columbia already beat Danville and Loyal Sock this season. The top ranked Tigers trying to avenge last year's regular season loss to Mount Carmel. These two teams play twice a year. Usually, Mount Carmel's coach Don Jarrah says it might as well be the NFC East, right? Both coaches say there are not many surprises on the field in this one because these two teams know each other well in District 4. First quarter, no score. Mount Carmel, Luke Blessing. Always a blessing when he gets the ball. 26 yards down the far side, 7 0 Mount Carmel. He scored on the next touchdown to make it 14 0. And how about that? Red Tornadoes passing offense. Cole Spears connects on the wide receiver screen to Xavier Diaz. Goes untouched, 44 yards, 21 0 Mount Carmel. But Southern Columbia trying to make something of it. They storm back in the second half. Loud and Murphy. Nine yard touchdown. Southern Columbia down 12, but four turnovers hurt them in this game. And the Mount Carmel passing game, they changed things up, passing the ball more. You know who it is, Xavier Diaz, 10 catches, 207 yards, two touchdowns. Cole Spears, a career day with more than 300 yards passing. And Mount Carmel finding a way to win and knocking off the number one team, 42 to 30, Mount Carmel over Southern Columbia. The offense stepped up. I challenged them last week. I pretty much told them right to their faces that, you know, we're not playing up to our capability. We have great athletes. I told them that. And, you know, they showed out today. 28 points in the first quarter against a great defense. You know, props to them. They have a great thing going. And, you know, we didn't really care. We grinded at practice. We did everything. The line stepped up. Luke stepped up. Cole stepped up. Jalen stepped up. Xavier stepped up. Everybody. I can go down the list. Everybody stepped up. Stepping up indeed, Jersey Shore and Montoursville, both teams take a knee to commemorate the life of Max Engel, number four, of course, not forgotten. First quarter, Montoursville's quarterback, Jimmy Musina, pass, but it's picked off by Luke Thompson. He says, not on my watch. 35-yard return, takes it down to the 10-yard line. Ensuing drive, Jersey Shore's Elijah Jordan taking it in for a nine-yard touchdown, 7-0 Bulldogs. Later in the first quarter, Jaron Loomis hits... Dathan Tyson forced out at the five yard line after a great run right here. The passing game for Jersey Shore looking good later in the drive. Back to the Bulldogs, bread and butter. Man, he couldn't be more in the clear. That's a touchdown for Bo Seacrest from 12 yards out, 14 0 Jersey Shore. And then back to the air, Jaron Thomas to Dathan Tyson. Man, that's how you draw it up. 53 yard touchdown, 21 0 Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore looking good with a dominating 38-21 win over Montoursville. 13th ranked Scranton Prep taking on North Pocono. First quarter, no score. Driving, Jalen Weeks runs it in for the touchdown. 7-0 Cavaliers. Second quarter, North Pocono's Noah West with the keeper until the Cavaliers lower the boom. Look at the hit there. Williams McCartland puts the hit on him, causing the ball to pop out. Lewis Paris, though, rumbles forward from five yards out for the touchdown. The extra point is no good. Cavaliers on top, 13 to nothing. And then James Pappas from the two yards out, plowing forward for the touchdown. 20 to nothing, Scranton Prep. Cavaliers crush North Pocono, 49 to six.